praise the Lord. My dear friends, now we are in the third Sunday of the Lent. The readings of today teaches us there are varieties of thirst in man's life. And man struggles to fulfill one's own thirst through various ways of this world. But no one can quench the thirst of man than God himself. That's why today's readings teaches us very clearly. Be alert to the various type of thirst that you have in life. And what does the thirst lead you to? What kind of tests and temptations that provide you to? And realize, at the end of the day, you and I are created by God and for God. Our root is the Lord. And the Lord alone can quench our thirst. This is what the first part we realize. And in the second part, we realize that God himself says that he has variety of thirsts. The thirst to possess us. The thirst to give himself for us. To thirst to give us salvation that we could be with him forever. Today's first reading is from the book of Exodus chapter 17. The people of Israel, they had the physical thirst walking in the desert. When they were thirsty, instead of looking towards their God, who quenches their thirst, fulfills all their needs, they get into angry, they get into upset, and they do not know what to do, so they are almost planning to stone the servant of God, Moses. If you and I do not understand that varieties of thirst will come in our lives, varieties of problems will come in our lives, at the end of the day, if we allow our problems to rule us, it can ruin us. Rather, we need to turn to God. Otherwise, we will even stone the people who are giving us life. But God, the faithful Father, the faithful Savior, He patiently calls on Moses who cries to God, Lord, save my situation. I am your servant. I trusted you and led these people. Now I am in trouble. The faithful God says, Call the elders. And in front of them, I want to honor you. Take the staff, the promises I have given to you. Go to the rock and strike the rock. The rock symbolizes God himself. That the rock will provide you the water. So the people, they went along with Moses. And in front of the people, Moses strikes the rock and he gets the water. And he quenches the thirst of the people. My dear friends, the people had the thirst for the physical thirst of hunger for the water. Beyond that, there is another thirst which they did not recognize is that their needs have to be fulfilled. That they are dying when their needs are not fulfilled. When their needs are not fulfilled, they get angry, upset, and they are ready to even destroy the one who gives life to them. You and I need to be alert. When in our life, 
all our needs are not fulfilled we to become like the people of israel but we should never forget by focusing on our problems we never reach anywhere we need to focus on the one who fulfills all our problems who finds solution for all our problems and that is our god and in him we live in him we move in him we have our being that's what we read in acts chapter 17 verse 28 in the gospel of today we find a samaritan woman in john's gospel chapter 4 and this woman had her own needs her own thirst a person to be loved to be cared to belong to a family but it's a tragedy that five men came into her life and none of them married her everyone used to her body and they left her and the thirst of that woman though the people are using her not settling with her but still she doesn't know what she is thirsting for and she is running after people if not this man will not the another man will stand by me my dear friends one day the master comes into her life and says john chapter 4 verse 10 if only you knew the gift of god for you if only you knew there is someone who stands with you and you would have asked him and he would have given you the living water and you need not to come again and again for this water the water that i give it to you will not only quench your thirst but it will become a river in you and you will become source of water for many you will become a blessing to quench the thirst of many you are not a problem you are a solution god opened the eyes of that woman a woman who had varieties of thirst to be loved to be cared to be belong to somebody my dear friends is it your problem to today man is running here and there for the cause of to know who will love me who really cares for me even in the family the wife complains about the husband that my husband doesn't bother me after becoming old he is worried about his daughter in law he is worried about his grandchildren he is worried about his son i know of a family where the man left his wife and he is staying with his son and daughter in law the security who will care for me yes all our thirst finds solution in god let's thirst for him that's why david said in psalm 63 oh god you are my god for you i thirst like the dry ground thirsting for the water my soul thirsts for you yes today kindly notice your own inner heart what are the thirst in your life maybe thirsting for name thirsting for fame thirsting for your basic needs to be fulfilled or maybe thirst to be loved to be cared to belong to then look unto the lord and he will quench your thirst and being quenched the thirst you become a river to quench the thirst of this people lead the people to god lead the people with the love yes you experience your need of love from the lord being loved by the lord you love the people the world is dying without love being experienced your security in the lord try to give security to one another even if it costs you to suffer sometime 
we are tired in life but in order to stand with the people we have to suffer but it is worth because unless we stand with the people how can they stand with others and only by standing with one another we make this world a world of love that's why god himself he left the heaven to stand with us he came down as a man and died for us so the lord who said to the woman if only you knew the gift of god who can quench your thirst he will not only quench your thirst but he will make you a river make us to run to the lord and may all our needs be quenched having quenched our thirst let's take up the thirst of varieties of people in the world the thirst of varieties of things in the world and may we carry the lord the living water to this thirsty world on the other hand we find god himself is thirsting for man yes when the people of israel were disturbed and they were trying to even stone god is thirsting how can i protect my servant moses who has trusted me and who has become my servant and god is rushing and telling moses that i am also thirsting i am thirsting to protect you i am thirsting for you and i am thirsting for my people who are cut who have got stuck up with their basic needs but they should know that there is a god who not only cares for their thirst but god is thirsting for them yes god is thirsting for each one of us god is hungering for each one of us that's why in luke's gospel chapter 15 we read that he is the good shepherd who is searching for the people that's what he said in luke's gospel chapter 19 verse 10 the son of god has come to seek and to give life yes god is thirsting for you and me he has created us for himself when we run here and there his heart cries for us that's why when adam and eve sinned against him he cried he, he thirsted he said adam where are you it's a kind of thirst that when we go away from god when we have sinned he knows what the end will be the sin will destroy us and god cannot see that so he thirsts for us yes that's why in the gospel of today when the woman had the thirst but she did not know who will quench the thirst so jesus tells her i thirst for you you are need to understand that if you come to me that i will quench your thirst that's why on the cross he cried st john's gospel chapter 19 verse 28 says he cried i thirst i thirst i thirst for the humanity i thirst for the dying souls i thirst for those who are trying to crying trying to cry for security for love for affection for name for fame i thirst for them that they should find their fulfillment in me if they don't find the fulfillment in me they will run here and there and they will be destroyed i thirst for you come to me come to me all those who are in need of life that's why we read in st john's gospel chapter 19 verse 34 a man came and put a spear on the side of jesus and the water and the blood came out of him even the last drop of water he gave it to us that all our thirst 
may be fulfilled and his own thirst is fulfilled by that to give himself to all of us that we may have life in all its fullness let's pray thank you lord for this beautiful day your word which tells us that we human beings were living on this earth we have varieties of thirst and none of our thirst can be fulfilled because only in you our thirst is fulfilled for you are the one who can quench our thirst we cry like saint augustine our hearts are thirsting for you o lord and only in you all our needs are fulfilled secondly lord we know that you thirst for us we hear your crying on the cross i thirst for you i thirst for dying humanity your heart is thirsting for the souls your heart is thirsting that we may be with you always it is your love for that sake you offered yourself may our hearts understand your depth of love and we may come to you you said if anyone comes to me i will make them a river yes lord may we come to you and become rivers and give your living water to this thirsty world may we become a an abode of love abode of understanding abode of power and affection and give your love your affection your care for this broken world the world is sick may we receive your healing and heal this broken world in jesus mighty name we pray to you father amen mm-hmm.